Let's pick off from uh, where I left in the last video. So in the last video, I derived this uh, expressions for emission coefficient of uh, electrons and holes, and I have related them to the capture cross sections of uh, electrons and holes, and also the dependence upon how far away my trap energy level is uh, from my intrinsic uh, energy level. And what I want to do in this video is, you know, take it from there and uh, derive this expression of uh, the net uh, recombination generation uh, rate which will you know finally come out to be of this form but before i do that you know let let me make sense of what these uh, relationships for emission uh, of uh, electrons and hole means so what these you know what these uh, expression give is they give the dependence of this uh, emission coefficient upon uh, this energy of the trap level and what it seems to be saying is that suppose i have a trap at you know at energy level ei and if i move it towards my conduction uh, band so you know if i increase this et minus uh, ei then what it's saying is that my emission uh, coefficient for electrons would go up and my emission coefficient for holes will uh, go down. And you know, this is what is coming from uh, the mathematics, but looking at intuitively from this band diagram, if I'm moving my trap state closer to my conduction band, of course it should be you know easier for uh, electrons which are trapped to you know, go back and go back into the conduction band. Similarly, I'm far away from my valence band, so if I trap a hole, it would it should be you know just thinking about it qualitatively this this coefficient uh, of uh, emission of holes should uh, go down and uh, so you know these these equations are you know looks like it's uh, making some sense similarly this equation is saying that you know if if i had a trap level over in near the middle of the band and if i move it close to the uh, close to the valence band then you know I get EI minus ET to be positive and what it's saying is in that case my emission for holes would become easier at the same time my emission for electrons would become harder and that again you know kind of makes sense so if my trap state is close to the valence band it should be easier for this hole to you know get detrapped at the same time it would be harder for this electron to get detrapped so it kind of makes sense you know at least i didn't you know it seems like you know i i derived the right thing in the in the previous video now i want to make use of it and derive my net uh, recombination and uh, generation rate so what i'll assume is that these these uh, emission coefficients even though i derived it for the case of uh, equilibrium these I'll assume is valid when even even in the case when I'm not uh, in equilibrium. So I'll assume that you know these expression would be valid even when I'm uh, not uh, in equilibrium. And uh, this is especially the case uh, you know I'm the regime I'm working in is the case of uh, low level uh, injection. That is, uh, uh, I have uh, injection such that my uh, my uh, number of uh, generated uh, electrons and holes is you know not uh, way high, high than the uh, than the doping density and so on so I'm, I'm i'm operating in low level injection and you know even though not in equilibrium very but very near to the equilibrium condition so in that case what I can, you know, I can come back to these uh, these different uh, rates that I had uh, pondered upon and uh, derived expressions for uh, in the last video, and you know, this were this were derived for the case when uh, I was in equilibrium. So now I'm in non-equilibrium. So I have, you know, an, another source of uh, generation of uh, carriers, and you know, let me just. Uh, uh, assume that you know I, I'm I'm shining uh, this light source uh, on uh, on top of my uh, on top of my semiconductor, which is generating carriers uh, with this generation rate uh, G L. And I also know that you know I'm in uh, I'm in uh, steady state, so you know I'm I'm considering the case when I'm in steady state. So my net uh, generation rate has to be matched by my net uh, recombination rate, and I can. Uh, I can uh, denote this uh, net uh, net uh, recombination rate uh, by the symbol U, and uh, you know, looking at these uh, individual uh, rates of uh, generation uh, of you know of uh, capture and emission of uh, electrons, I can say you know this this net. Uh, 
uh, recombination rate should, uh, if I consider the case of uh, electrons, should be equal to, you know, the rate at which I am, uh, you know, trapping my, into the trap, subtracted by the rate at which uh, these, uh, you know, electrons are being uh, detrapped. And in, if I look at, you know, the same uh, rate from the perspective of holes, so I know that, you know, the my holes are being uh, generated by this, uh, you know, by this rate uh, GL. So again, you know, they are in the steady state. So the rate of, you know, capture of these holes should be matched by the rate of, uh, uh, you know, emission of these uh, captured holes. So, you know, this uh, should also be equal to R3 minus R4. So what I get is, you know, my, my, what I get is this uh, relationship, which is uh, valid uh, for the case of, uh, uh, for the steady state, even though I'm uh, not uh, in equilibrium, since I'm in st steady state, this, uh, these rates uh, R1 minus R2 should be equal to R3 minus R4.